Alright then guys, sorry about the noise, trying to ruins the the feel of it. <laughs> There's a guy just cutting trees down basically and he's got his truck running right there. So this is the reason why I'm fishing here. I was gonna be fishing over there. But the, the bloke's working over here, so I'm going to start fish here. Even though there's a bit of reeds in that, I can get them over there. I'm a good angler. Um, but yeah, it's a very tight space. I've got trees all above me, um, but I like the look of it. I put some bait here last night, but on the other side, there's a river. A re little, dip, Not even a ditch, it's just a lush little clear stream that runs straight into this. But it was minus three last night, so I didn't come up. For, I got up at like a, about 10 o'clock this morning. <laughs> I didn't even get out of bed, man. I thought, what is the point? It's freezing, man. Literally freezing. And there's only small carp. I'm not catching BBs and I'm on holiday. So I've got about four or five hours to catch some bees. Well, I just catch a fish, really, innit? Yeah, just to catch a fish, really. I didn't really care, man. Look how muddy I am, man, from yesterday. Um, but it was freezing, man. My own hooking mat's just. I'll show you. Can you see it? It was frozen. About to, like, leave. Oh, no, it's defrosted now. But uh, it was frozen. You can still see the bits of ice on it. It was frozen, man. <laughs> froze last night. So uh, I thought, bugger this. But now it's all nice. It's got a lot milder, you can see. Uh, well, I say a lot milder, it's about one degree. It's above freezing. <laughs> right, I've got the rod ready to go. Nice organized. Be wide up, that truck will be going soon. But look at that, big chunk of bread. Early morning carpy, same float, same setup. It's about five, six foot deep. Yeah, it's about six, seven foot. I don't know the depth, so I'm not to really do it, I'm not sure. But who cares? Get out of there. Yeah, see, this is much shallower here. Much shallower. Okay. It's gonna bite straight away, though. Yeah, it's much, uh. It's better sort that out, really. Alright. Here we go then guys, I took it for granted yesterday didn't I? I couldn't catch a thing over there, not one thing. Nothing wrong, the depth of water was like four, about three foot deep. I don't know the lake like I said. Um, so yeah, I think I was fishing in the wrong, well, I was fishing in the wrong spot. So I've gone back to the spot where I was yesterday, back on the honey pot. Like I said, I've only got one rod with me. Uh, after catching all the small fish yesterday, I thought well, there's no point in having a big rod. Got light, small nets, keep it all simple innit? Right, so I'll show you the spot. The only difference I've done this time, I've got a size, no, I've got the same size, look on, same size 10. But originally I started with a 14. Um, I could scale it back down again, but nah, brother. All right, I'm gonna move the camera up here a little bit. Okay. That's the problem there. There we go. All right. Just trying to keep it level. There we go. Boosh, look at that. Right, so yeah, Mr. Lead Shot. Let's give it a go now. Nothing on the float, literally just this one lead shot. Obviously, put bait down there already. Baby dog, <laughs> little mirror, little bring mirror. Oh, 
First fish on a cold morning. <laughs> Cracking little uh, mirror. There's no point using a two pound test cut rod on these guys, you know? When you can float off. <laughs> there you go, another little coin. Actually, easy enough to out on this one, even though there's no meat. <laughs> Just to show you guys. Mr. Common! On a cold morning. Much easier with a small than that. <laughs> Alright, if it keeps going like this, <laughs> I'm probably gonna change my tactics over and uh, fish for roach. <laughs> it's just purely because, uh, as you've seen, I'm just bagging up. It's actually a bit too easy. Sounds bizarre, doesn't it, this time of year, man? It's too easy fishing. But, uh, <laughs> it's just, it's literally one a cast, man. Now that one didn't even, I didn't even cast it correctly. <laughs> then I might see what's ro what roach in that area, you know? What you gotta do is change over the hook size and take off that big lead shot. And just fish like mid of water. Ooh, you can't lift by again, let's take a laugh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Hold on. He's better when I'm plodding. Four pound, I reckon. Did you hear my reel? He's not liking this cold weather, man. I've been debating about lengthening the lengthening it to a longer hook length. Okay, Easy as that. So, little common. Oh, chew your tits, mate. I know. It's a cold day, mate. I know. <laughs> Hey, shut up. There we go. So I'm going to say he's about three pounds. But yeah, on the morning, on the float, I was having a little moment. Like, it's too easy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, people. Um, but yeah, it's good. That's good sport. It's just, it's just crazy in there. I'm cold. It's my mind. Bag it up. And I'm moaning by it. <laughs> Greedy, sneaky pig, innit? Greedy pig. All right, here he goes. The moaning fighting fisherman because he's catching too many fish and it's too easy. <laughs> if this was summer, it would make sense, but it's, it's bizarre, isn't it? But I'm thinking about lengthening this. 
because generally the bigger fish you fish for, the longer the lead shot should be away from the hook because the way they feed. Um, so if you want to catch a really big carp, normally generally I make it a little bit longer. Um, but obviously if you've got small carp in the swim, they're prone them to like deep hook it a little bit. I mean, you never, like quite hard, well I've never deep hooked like a carp proper, like deep hooked so you didn't get a hook out. But it'd go deeper than normal too. Carp, carp are quite small now, same with the lake that I normally spent fish, so kept it quite close, but we'll see how we get on. Do the old zoom in in a minute as well, I'll show you where I'm actually fishing. Come on. I reckon this one's about 10 ounces. <laughs> Come on, mate. I say, oh Jesus, because this one looks like it's been caught a few times. I can't stand it in it, really, but you know what I'm saying. In mud. <laughs> Let's try and get it in there. So you see how shallow it is there. I'll just tug it down slightly. And there we go. So as soon as that lifts, we're in, my face, we're in. Oh look, it's bouncing, it's bouncing around. We're in. And we're in. And we're in. I think it's a bit of a bigger fish. Let me come around slightly this way. Flipping around, have to find a bit harder. Hey, it's the salmon.
came off, he was ready. <laughs> He'd just come back on another strap. He's like, nah. It's the common on the float. Look at that. Buzzing, man. Can't beat that on a freezing cold day. Yeah, it's a good old scrap as well. Yeah, boy. Lift my head on the camera. There we go. Duffy. Best fish I've had, I think. Right, mate. I'd say he's about five, six pound. Nah. Four pound? Five pound? <laughs> five pound, I reckon. Yeah. Right, let's get him back in. It's freezing cold.
Right, we are done, guys. I have had easy 21st, man. It's been mental. But it's the biggest one I've had at about five or six, man. Well, the rest have been well, more than that. You know, quite small fish. But uh, this place is called Ashley Ponds. It's uh, only a little place in, in uh, Shropshire. So, all the fish in really good condition, as you can see. They've all been really nice. A lot of action. In a couple of years, this fish, these, this place will be really good. Some fish will be much bigger. It's good fun anyway, though. I think he beat that on one rod, float fishing all day, man. Like 20 fish. There we go. Buzzing. Happy days. Bing, bang, bosh. Like and subscribe to my channel, Fighting Fisherman, and Fighting Fisherman on Instagram number nine. The lift method. Boom. No matter where I go, same action, same way I fish. And next, we're going to France, boys. We're going to France. So uh, when I go to France, we're going to catch some lumps. And... Uh, completely contrast from this from having like 20 fish to probably having one fish all weekend so getting ready for that one right so i hope you enjoyed my holiday fishing like i said this was to be fun um nothing too serious and uh really enjoyed it i've been like flat out even though it's been freezing cold i must been about like minus three last night there was like ice all around the side of the lakes and everything it's nuts man um but yeah, obviously in the morning I fished over there and I couldn't even catch fish. So it just shows, you know, how lucky I was to choose this swim straight off when I first turned up here. I could have fished over there like I was going to buy my caravan. Oh, oh, pardon me. Not buy my caravan, buy my lodge, sorry. Um, but I thought, nah, we'll, sit, um, I'll come all the way around here on the actual peg. And uh, so it's paid off. So I originally went back over there and honestly it was rubbish, man. I was there for an hour, I didn't have one bite. Well, I have one little lift bite, but there's nothing you can talk about. So... Basically, yeah, really good fun. So I enjoyed it. Right, so I will you're probably going to see me again in France. I'm probably going to be like minus seven. <laughs> Let's hope not in at eight. Right, see you later, guys.